Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Well, I made a tough decision here in my own yard whether to keep a really overgrown, huge Ceanothus, a California lilac, that was taking over the fence and kind of taking up a lot of the neighbor's yard as well, or to try and keep that in the landscaping. And I decided that yeah, it was probably best to let's remove it. It's, it's way beyond remediation. <laughs> I would try for that but this wasn't uh, was kind of beyond so we took it out and I am overwhelmed by the amount of lichen that is in this tree I wanted to take a look at that so here we even have some beautiful flower the bees just love this flower it um, it provides a lot of um, nutrition for a lot of the pollinators but it was just in the wrong place and it was had uh, should have been addressed um, probably a couple decades ago. That's my guess. So anyway, even though it was in bloom, this was the time to take it down. And I'll show you just a little tiny bit of the lichen that's in this tree. And these are the, this is our, our big brush pile that we're having to deal with now. But you can see um, some of these branches are just really, really covered with lichen. Now, lichen um, will not kill a tree. It's not going to act uh, in that fashion. But when there is dead wood, it seems to be that's where it will locate as well. So we're thinking, uh, you know, part of this tree is the branches are dead. Uh, we probably just need to make it go. But fascinating to look at all of this lichen and the different varieties. After we had made this brush pile, I saw a couple of little wrens uh, hopping in and out of the pile and I thought, well, that's kind of cute to see. But then I thought, wondered what uh, those wrens were doing there. Um, do birds eat lichen? Well, a couple of birds do in North America, the spruce grouse and the wild turkey. I don't have either of those in my area. So it wasn't those. <laughs> but uh, what else might those wrens have been just investigating? Maybe they were just curious. Well, lichens also can be homes and shelter for lots of insects. So I suspect that those wrens were probably looking for some insect activity in those lichens. Another thing that birds um, do, uh, over 50 species of birds in North America use lichens in their nesting material. So that is really an important thing. Um, I say let's provide them nesting materials. That would be really great. So I decided to leave a few here in my, in my wreath. <laughs> and if the birds happen to take them, that's just fine. Now, lichens are typically categorized into three categories, foliose lichens, fruticose lichens, and crustose lichens. I think what we see here is mostly uh, foliose lichen. Uh, one way you can uh, distinguish that is that a foliose lichen has a distinct top and bottom part of the structure, so a top side and a bottom side. And now I want to show you another folio lichen where we can really see that very clearly. Lichens are a symbiotic uh, organism situation between fungi and um, a green alga or and, or a cyanobacteria, or both of them. And you can see on this foliar lichen, there is definitely a top side and a bottom side. And the algae, which is um, doing the photosynthesis right now, is what's turning this green. Isn't that kind of cool? 
Now this lichen will it will dry out and, and turn brown when it's there's less moisture and then once we get into some more humid situations it brightens up to be green. One of the birds that uses lichen in this building is of course a hummingbird. And I saw a hummingbird this morning. It was trapped in my garage. <laughs> I don't know that it was collecting nesting material at this time of year in November, but I am thrilled that in my landscaping, I will have lichen to provide some nesting material for a hummingbird and for other birds as well. Um, lichen is also an indicator of good air quality. So if you've got lichen in your trees and in your shrubs in your landscape, you should be really thankful and kind of proud that you're in a situation of better air quality than some places. Just something to think about. It's amazing to think about how much biomass a, a large shrub can uh, produce but I've got some work to do. Well, just a little bit to think about lichens, why we might like them and um, appreciate them when we see them in our landscaping. Well, there's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.